Hey, Karen Julia here, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at some of the foundational SEO settings within Showit. I'm going to show you how to add things like SEO title and SEO meta description first, and then we're going to talk a little bit about strategy. So let's get stuck in. If you want to follow along and update your details at the same time, then I'd recommend that you are signed in to the back of your Showit website. Okay, so let's move my head out of the way. If we quickly just look at the SEO title and meta description on my website now, you can see that using the Moz bar. So if you click the little M um, up at the top there in the icon to switch it on, and then you click on page analysis, we'll see that we've got a page title in here and a meta description as well. Your page title should be between 40 and 60 characters. Your meta description should be between 140 and 160 characters. So there can be a little bit of variation. If we just look at the back end of our show it website. Now, if you do flip into looking at your show it site when the Moz bar is switched on, you will see this black screen. Please do not panic. You've not broken anything. It just doesn't work with the Moz bar switched on. So we're going to hit a little cross and switch it off and miraculously our website will appear. So to update your homepage SEO title and meta description, you want to just be clicked on your homepage. So let's just click on another page first, just so I can show you when you click back on it, how it should look. So we're clicked on our homepage and then over on the right hand side, we have the page info, page background, animation, and SEO settings. So if it's not switched on, it will be down here on the right hand side. So we're going to dig into this and just take a bit of a closer look. And we can see here we've got three different boxes, one for page title, one for the meta description, and one for meta keywords. Please leave the meta keywords box blank. I don't know why it's still there. Google hasn't used meta keywords since somewhere around 2008, at least not in the last 10 years anyway. Um, it's old technology that's just not been used for a very long time. So this box should be blank. The page title, um, this is where um, we need between 40 and 60 characters and we want to have our main keyword in here. And also maybe your brand. It really depends on your market and I'd encourage you to look at what your competitors have got first and also do some keyword research. We're going to talk strategy in just a second. But this is where to put your title in that you want to appear in the search results. This is the meta description space and this should be between 40 and 60 characters. The meta description is less about ranking and more about conversion. Really, you've got 140 characters to persuade someone to click on your website rather than a competitor site. So if you imagine it like your lift conversation, you've got a little opportunity to entice people to click. And I've mentioned the free tutorials in there and tips and information um, and about helping the short website rank. So you kind of don't want to be stuffing that with keywords. It should be more conversational and give people a bit of a hint of what they're going to find on your site. Whereas your title is more about the kind of keyword phrases that you know have search volume because you've done a lot of research. So what is um, in our share image? And what I'd recommend you put in your shared image is maybe have your brand logo in there. Maybe have like your main keyword phrase or the, the a phrase that would make sense for your website. For example, if you're based in California, you might just want a kind of California Bay Area photographer or wedding photographer. And um, you might want to have your logo or your business name. This is what's going to be shown when we share our gorgeous new website on social media. So having a little bit of text on a photo can just really um, be like a kind of more visual description uh, of either your main keyword phrase or an opportunity for you to kind of share your logo and start building brand familiarity with everybody that sees your content on social media. So um, adding a bit of text there uh, certainly doesn't do any harm, I don't think. Um, Hang on a second. We don't want to. We don't want to change that. Okay. So now that you know how to add your SEO title and meta description, let's have a look at what that actually looks like in the search results. Now I have done a search for my main keyword. If you're a wedding photographer, then you might be, you know, looking for the keyword phrase in relation to wedding photography. And we'll look at that in just a second. 
But I wanted to kind of share the process that I took when I decided what to put in my title. So I've typed in show SEO because that's what I want to rank for. This site is a little micro site dedicated towards everything to do with that. So if I look and see who else is ranking, the first three results here are all show it. Then we've got fuel your photos and they've started off with show SEO right at the start here. And then we have a variety of other sites who've also all got kind of variations on. So show it beginner's guide, show it site SEO, how to set up your SEO. So there's a variety of different phrases, but um, I've one, went with one that talks about, that uses show SEO as the main keyword, because I can see that's where the search volume is. Zoom in here, we can see there's 110 searches a month for show SEO, and the competition looks fairly low. Although the website is literally about four days old or a week old. So, you know, it's um, it's got a way to go before it's, it's kind of going to be able to rank well. Um, so what I'd encourage you to do as well is have a look at your keyword phrase and see kind of what the titles are, what you're competing with. So if we were going to look at my Glasgow website, for example, we can type in Glasgow Wedding Photographer. Um, this is the main keyword phrase for my wedding website, which appears to have slipped a few places. <laughs> Need to look into that. Um, and if we have a look at all the other websites on the homepage, um, we can see who else is ranking and what they've put here. So we've got Ross Alexander, who's actually got Wedding Photographer Scotland. Um, this is quite interesting, actually. The search results have changed from the last time I've looked. And also, I'm sure Ross Alexander's main keyword has changed as well in his title. So that's kind of intriguing. We've got Easy Weddings that wasn't ranking there before. And Simon Studio was usually kind of up um, next to where I am. And we can see that we've got a variety of um, variations on Glasgow Wedding Photographer. If it was more varied than that, then that would help us kind of maybe make decisions about how to arrange our SEO title. If everyone had the exact same thing, then you might be tempted to just go with the same thing. It does look that the search results have just kind of been mixed up a little bit, though. So that can be influenced by an algorithm update that can kind of shake things up. Or there might be a lot of people working on the websites over the last few weeks whilst it's been quiet during the pandemic. But I'd encourage you to, wherever you are and whatever service is the main service you provide, have a look at your competitors and see what's there. Also do keyword research to check the search volume. I know for this phrase, the search volume is nearly 3,000 searches a month. Um, and we've got a bit of information about the cost per click and the competition. And this is pulled in from the Keywords Everywhere um, Chrome extension, uh, which I have another tutorial about. So I think between having a look at what ranks in your area, doing some keyword research, and then using that meta description to really talk about the features of the service you offer and what makes you different. You know, what are the, the what is it that sets you apart? What's your USP? And use the meta description for that rather than keyword stuffing. So I hope you've all found that helpful and um, it will help everyone in terms of updating your title and meta description on Show It. And just remember, keep that keywords box blank. I'll see you in the next tutorial.